Genesis. Welcome to another wonderful day at Sharon Monty. Today is Monday, January 25th, 2021. Please join me in standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Let's see what's cooking in the cafeteria for lunch today. Crispy chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich, or manager special entry entree, entree, assorted fruit cups, fresh vegetables with dip, assorted low-fat milk. Birthday wishes go out to Nathan Bennett, Christian Rodriguez, and Nico Sellers. Hope you all have a wonderful day. In sports news, can you believe it? The Bucks are going to Super Bowl. They beat the Packers 31 to 26 yesterday and will face the Chiefs, Chiefs in su the Super Bowl in, on February 7th. Way to go, books. <coughs> the weather outside your classroom today will include... It won't feel like winter this afternoon. It is supposed to reach 80 degrees later today. Enjoy the above average temperatures. Next, let's see what's happening at Sharon Monty today. 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, kindergarten eye ready testing in the classrooms and media center. Following the morning show today, we will have 20 minutes of dear D-E-A-R mm -hmm. -E time. Happy reading. Tomorrow theme is reading gives you superpowers. Wear your favorite <coughs> superhero t-shirt. Today is recycling day, 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, youth mental health training in the media center. Water like that. Do I call it? It's not pretty metal ball. Finally, we have some additional information from Ms. Kirkman. Good morning, my friends. Yeah, woo woo, way to go, Bucks. Oh, what an exciting game that was. Alrighty, uh, we have an exciting week here too. It is Celebrate Literacy Week, and for you guys that have been around here for that, you know that means trivia questions every day this week and chances to win prizes. I got goodie bags every day, and if you're one of the three winners, you get to choose a free book and a free poster. And there's a couple bucks posters in there too. I figured those are going to be hot items. So make sure you are here on time for the morning show every day this week to have a chance to. Um, to win and answer a question and win a prize. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go. And my friends in here, don't give away the answers. All right, kindergarten and first grade, here is your question. In the book, The Polar Express, what is the first gift of Christmas? Now, I read this book to the entire school, so everybody should know. In the Polar Express, what is the first gift of Christmas? Mr. Opla knows, but he's not in kindergarten or first grade. Uh. <laughs> All right, second and third graders. In the book, The Cat in the Hat, what type of pet does Sally have? In the book, The Cat in the Hat, what kind of pet does Sally have? Now, you may not know this answer right off the bat, but if you have the book in your classroom, look for the answer. You do a little research. All right, now, for my friends in here, and again, don't give away the answer. Fourth and fifth graders, I got three titles for you. Dog Days, Hard Luck, The Deep End. Name the series and the author. Two-part question. Dog Days, Hard Luck, The Deep End. Name the series and the author. All right, kiddos, um, normally I've got the, the, the papers that you can fill all your answers out in here, drop them off. The baskets are the same as normal, but you're going to write your answers just on a piece of scrap paper in class, have somebody collect them, and then drop them off at the, in the library anytime today. Before dismissal today, I will announce the winner. So, good luck, 
and um, we will do deer time as soon as the morning show is done. All right, so as we we're done, get your books out and ready. Fifth grade, I know you guys got to go specials, you'll have to do years later, um, and drop everything and read for 20 minutes. All right, Mr. Opal, I'm going to trade places with you. Hey, good morning, everybody. What an exciting morning today, an exciting day yesterday, and even better, an exciting two weeks that we have until the Buccaneers play in the Super Bowl. So we will be doing some exciting things around school, probably more next week than this week. So as we get closer to the Super Bowl, we'll plan some things and wear all of our Buccaneer stuff and but you know we gotta wear we wear red, but you know what? The other team's red too, so we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna do that. But we'll do some fun things next week uh, related to the Super Bowl, and we'll really get excited. Uh, I, Miss Kirkner, I only knew one of those three questions, and I guess I only knew the kindergarten question. But I'm smarter <laughs> than the kindergartner, so kindergartners, aha! I know that I knew that answer, so. Mr. Opa is smarter than the kindergartners and the first graders. But the third, second and third and fourth and fifth, I don't know those answers. I, I would have said a cat or the cat had, but I don't know what animal that girl has and the cat in the hat. Uh, whoo, man. Okay. Exciting week this week. This is all, man, there's lots of excitement, Miss Kirkner. There's all kinds of fun things happening. Celebrate Literacy Week and Deer Time. Oh, my gosh. That's like old school. Like when Mr. Opa was a teacher, we used to have Deer Time. Drop everything and read. Is that right? As soon as we're done here. Okay. Ooh, just read like crazy. So ex fun things we're going to be doing all week with uh, Celebrate Literacy. Your teachers will be talking to you about that. And I'll be sending information home to parents every day. Also, uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, first graders and second graders. First graders, you guys don't even really know this. But second graders, your pizza parties will be Friday later this week. And that is our third, fourth, and fifth graders already know that is about iReady. If you made your typical grow, uh, typical growth goal on iReady in math or reading or both, you'll get to come to a pizza party. So we'll be talking to your teachers and let you know who made the pizza party. And that will be for first grade and second grade this week, later in the week. Also, third, fourth, and fifth graders. I need you to hear me. Teachers, third, fourth, and fifth, I need you to hear me. Sit up, listen up, stop what you're doing right now. We are going to start putting some incentives in place for Achieve. I know that a lot of you do Achieve in your classroom. All of you should be doing some kind of Achieve somewhere in your classroom. We are going to put some things together, and this is what it's going to look like. Every time you do an Achieve lesson, the goal is to get 75% right, 75% accuracy or better. So every time you do that, you're going to, if you get, you do your Achieve article, and you need to do two per week, remember that. Um, you're going to get a ticket if you get 75% accuracy. And then we're going to do drawings every Friday for like gift cards and all kinds of awesome things. So we're going to start that like today. We're going to start keeping track. we got to find the tickets. So I'll be getting those out soon. But that's third, fourth, and fifth graders. Some of you do a lot of Achieve. Some of you are just doing a little bit of Achieve. That's okay. You're, if you get that 75% accuracy, you're going to get your um, ticket to the drawing. And hopefully you'll be a big winner. So... Um, and then there were other things we were doing. Oh, attendance. I know attendance. You boys and girls, we got to get to school. We have to get to school. Our attendance stinks. Mm -hmm. A lot of you are staying. I mean, stinks. Like, it stinks. Like, I smell it. It's bad. <laughs> so a lot of you stay home when you go, oh, I just don't feel like going to school today. Get to school. That, uh -uh. There are days that I don't feel like being here, and I'd rather be home sleeping but I get here and I got to do my job and you need to get here and do your job. No more of that taking days off. We have to get to school. Our attendance smells from here all the way to Dale Mabry. It stinks that bad. So get to school and we're going to start. I know Miss um, Orlando and Taylor, her intern, are going to start doing some incentives for classes that have 100% and they're going to start earning some different things. Ooh, man. <laughs> so, all right. So, yes, that's a lot of things. That's a lot of um, things happening right now. Uh, boys and girls, we're in the third grading period, so start rocking it out. We're going over report cards from the second grading period. You got to start fast right now. Last week was the first week. Now, get going. You want to start off with great grades and cruise on through the third quarter. And I think that's about it. I'm going to send it back to Genesis is our 
Anchor. Wow, that's new to me. All right, back to her. <laughs> this book was left in Miss Orlando's room. If it's yours, please come to the library and pick it, it up. Pick it up. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Lion TV. We hope you have a magnificent Monday, and remember to follow your ABCs. A, act responsibly. B, be safe. And C, care for others.